Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, just want to do a quick video. So um, I picked up the ASRock B76M AirTag with Wi-Fi. So I build my PC now. My PC has been running for about 30 days. It's been at least a month now and so far no issues. Um, little quirks here and there. Um, like right now just that screen flickering. So after I... Um, deleted something from steam so i don't know that was the last thing i was doing so maybe it's not a motherboard issue but moving on so um i picked this one for about 130 and it looks like the price went up since then so um i was looking for a motherboard that can su that supports uh the 14 gen and ddr5 so uh this was actually my first choice it was my third choice uh the first two just knocked out i had to do some research one was amd the other one, i don't know what happened to the second one but i followed to this one and this one just came up on the recommended list on amazon so i ended up getting this one uh read the specifications about it has a uh, third supports here on the Amazon support page product page. It says 13 gen, 12 gen. I have the 14 gen, so I was a little bit iffy about that. It supports DDR5, which is good. Uh, because my pre built, I moved the CPU and the SRAM stick into this one, so I wanted to make sure those are covered. Uh, everything else is um, pretty new to me. I'm like a newbie when it comes to all this. So, um, friend recommended PC part pick. PC part picker. So I got the list right here. Uh, it says warning on about it. So I checked it out. It says it might need a CPU upgrade. It does support uh, 14 gen processors, CPUs, but I just need a BIOS update. And I did. So, um, and I got the website right here. Fancy stuff. The only thing I really cared at the time was just for DDR5, which is covered right here and supports 14th gen processor and all this extra stuff i really didn't didn't care but luckily for me there uh this did come off wi-fi so um i didn't want to buy any extra accessories and it just luckily came out to be perfect for me so uh, that's good um so right now i've got two two 16 16 ram times two sticks i guess so I had them right here, and my SD card comes with a heatsink, which is nice. Um, and I grab my 4070 Super right here, and there's an extra slot too if I want to add a second SSD card, which I'm really thinking about because one gig, one gig does not carry a lot of games and everything else. So um, yeah, so I got all this and a, a decent amount of port. I didn't really care about ports as long as it has a headphone jack. Um, some uh, USB drives, USB C, USB uh, 3.0 from a hard. I have one hard drive via US U, via USB, and everything else. So I checked all the uh, I checked all the boxes for me at least. Uh, I did some I did some YouTube videos about this particular one. Uh, I did went deep dive into it, which is probably way too went, went over my head basically, and. Um, I know this one does not have the, what's it called? The, let me see. It doesn't have the, the I don't know about the motherboard. The motherboard doesn't support any of the, uh, what's it called? Let me see. It doesn't support the newer uh, next generation PCIe. It's on the four now, but five has been introduced a couple years now. And fast forward today, and like nothing has been moving forward or anything like that. Well, at least with the motherboard manufacturer. So, um, like this one comment says, um, BIOS and let me see, where's that one app? Let it go. I downloaded the app and it down and I downloaded another app just to show where's the, um, let me see where it says is this one here. Oh, here we go. So a bunch of stats and everything else. Um, this is just to the ASRock game in tune, I believe. Fan speed, if you're into that. Settings. 
tweaker. Um, I'm not. I don't plan to tweak anything, so I'm gonna leave everything as is. Um, system's been running great. 1440, 70, 4070 super. Moving on until 14400. Good so far. And what I updating the BIOS was kind of complicated when I first heard it, but I got there a couple videos on YouTube that I was able to get it done as fast as I can. Updated the BIOS on a flash drive, up downloaded the up BIOS update on a flash drive, put it in the computer, booted up to um, BIOS, updated the BIOS first, and voila. And then I got the Windows Windows key after that. Um, probably two or three weeks after I got the, up, two or three weeks after that, um, I upgraded my RAM stick to 32 gigs, two sixteens, and I made sure, and I went back to BIOS again and switched to XP mode. And then after that, my RAM stick's running at 6,000 megahertz, I believe. So, uh, gets the job done for me. I mean, I'm not really looking for anything fancy. Um, if you want to get, uh, I believe the higher tier boards is 7090. 790 uh, has more has more I/O ports in the back. Um, let me see, more SSD cards and so forth like that. And I uh, get more. So I don't don't need any of that extra stuff because I'm just solely for gaming. After that, I pay my bills, watch YouTube videos on it. I'm not a content creator or anything like that, so I guess it makes sense to get the higher boards if you need the um, transfer speeds. And there's a bus on here, which I don't understand completely. So like I said, it went over my head when I watched those YouTube videos about this one too. So, And looks like for this one, I did just put the eight pin in there. Four pin is only necessary if you plan to do overclocking, which I don't. So I just right now has one single eight pin in there. RAM sticks, my CPU. And my 24 pin connector and everything else. Uh, it really helps that if you have a good YouTube video to with the same motherboard. So be, the process is so simple and easy. Just follow the instructions. And I got a one terabyte card here, which is nice. And I got my my 4070 super plugged into here, and it comes with Wi-Fi, of course. So that which is nice. There's a two little antennas built in it sticking out of my computer and I do have space for more hard drive if I really wish which I'm really thinking about since the hard space does go through a lot so this is like a quick overview from a newbie who got a motherboard just you know just because I need a motherboard that supported my old PC parts so it looks like the Sonic is about um I think the same one but I wasn't a fan of the Sonic at all or the color scams looking for all black this one the strike of blue which is perfect for me all right guys bye